Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking, and today we are back in Diablo 2 Resurrected with Runa, scholar and gentleman, and also barbarian. Not of Horogath. They, they are all filthy and not not educated enough for him. But uh, we are here in Act 5, finally. And, oh well, it was a pretty quick journey, especially the second half of, of it, I would say. We're pretty straight through. Um, well prepared, of course, as always. Runa... Uh, very much values being prepped um, and today that prepping shall continue because level 26 not quite enough and getting to level 30 31 uh, with uh, Shankrans Eldritch uh, Shankrans is probably a good idea because that will provide us with a few uh, bases to socket um, if we need to do so and a few um, new armors should be dropping as well uh, some nightmare stuff, which is uh, uh, good news as well. And uh, yeah, leveling in general makes us spend our skill points. So yeah, this will be pretty straightforward grinding. And uh, that that we already know how that works from the Countess, I guess, uh, in more than one way. Uh, no, shut up, Rona. You you never never had a chance. Um, let's go. Right, there they come, extra fast. And soon. Uh, no, I don't say it. Uh, uh, okay, so yeah, this is all. Our priest. Ah, roaster is on. That looks brutal. That looks absolutely cr cruel. Cruel. Uh, flamethrower man. Really pretty. Kind of hurtful. Not really, though. All good. Yeah, you see, there's the next item. The next item we found. Um, oh, ethereal too. Ah, that's some nice damage. But uh, yes, let's quickly check if there are any shrines around here or any other boss groups. That is always something that is worth checking before you do these runs. No. No, there, there is not. So let's go to Shanky Boy. And this will be very simple and straightforward. We just stand here and uh, get a, get a few more. Basanti is running too far, getting murdered, and uh, we have to run away. And then at some point, uh, suicide bombers are coming to blow blow themselves up, and we are getting surrounded and die a horrible death. Um, yeah, that's when everything goes goes right, you know. But in the end, somehow, Runa survives and Shanky Boy gets his ass peppered with little sticks. There he goes. So let's just quickly check around here because there are always chests as well, which we do want to loot in our little runs. Um, I just need to figure out how much of the surroundings we want to do each time. So we gained about... 10% experience? Not in town. Um, that's slow. And nothing to report on. Around number two, we got uh, money. And Eldritch is down for third. Oh, well, that's nice and all, but uh, yeah, you, you know the deal. Damn it. But then the warhead might be something for Basanti. Let's uh, check it out here. Yeah, yeah I mean. Could have been worse. Nice defense on it. And the ring? Ooh. ooh. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's not a bad ring. Um, shame. This seems to be about the smartest thing we can do. Just um, run in a little bit too much so that uh, these guys are all focusing on me and Pesanti just straight up fires at them all the time. Level up for Basanti. Yes, and another dead shank. Of course, the Helm of Pure Resistance is, is quite a bit better than this one. Uh, despite the extra defense, it's not really that useful. Um, it is more useful, in our case, to have defense because we have the Shout, which then doubles it. So the effect is slightly larger, but still not quite worth it. 
Not especially not for four, uh, thirty eight percent resistances. <laughs> That's the difference. And Shanky Boy goes down another time. There we have it. Oh, ooh, nice circlet. <laughs> oh, this one is funny. It's like, ah, oh, don't you hate it when it spawns with knockback and then hit causes monsters to flee 100%. <laughs> don't you hate when that spawns on a weapon? This is the ultimate combo. <laughs> but at least it is comboed with prevent monster heal. So when they run away, at least they don't heal up again. So uh, that's uh, something going for it. And now let's check out the circlet here. Um, oh. Oh. Oh, that's that's quite quite the thing. Um, that's a lot of fire damage, and damage reduced by four is still relevant. I would say at this level. Um, yeah, this one isn't too bad, and enhanced damage as well. Huh. Okay, this this might just be a damage dealing circlet for Basanti. And Shrinky Boy going down once again. Here you go. There he is. Oh, oh that's a unique crossbow. And of course, this is not really a uh, very useful bow. Although, it has some some damage to it. Uh, and actually, oh, this one has increased attack speed on it, so it's not too terrible. Uh, yeah. I mean, there, there are certainly worse. But I don't think... Um, she can actually use crossbows, can she? I can't no, exactly. That. Yeah, that's that's the point. She's a rogue, not a, uh, not an Amazon or paladin or whatever. Yeah, uh, I think I see something there. Flamberge, uh, which is colored grey, so it might be socketed or ethereal or both. Let's pick it up and take a quick look. Three sockets, normal. All right. Uh, that is two hand damage, 13 to 26, which is not that much better than the steel there. And it's actually just slightly better than our crystal sword. Oh, and speaking of Lamberges, there we have the next one. <laughs> Holy shit, this is so bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Beautiful, this is almost so bad that you gotta keep it. For a rare item, just a, about the minimum you can get from one. Uh, but yeah, this one is might be something we want to keep. I don't know. It's just three sockets, of course. Nothing in normal can have more than three sockets. So that's a bit of a duh moment, Killer Rob. But uh, yeah, yeah. Um, n not the best base for anything at the moment. I think I'm going to get rid of these, even though this is such a such a good roll. Uh, that we got on our very first try. Uh, procking the 20% increased attack speed and getting a pretty good rating for our damage increase. Um, unfortunately, the base wasn't perfect. Just imagine this would have been uh, a partisan. That that would have been fantastic. But yes, uh, yeah, not, not very usable. Not for our mercenary, at least. And I think we're going to stick with her. She has proven to be the correct choice several times very close to level 27 here we go next enemy maybe come on no one more no one more come on Basanti help me out here yes there we go and Shanky boy going down another time let's see what he drops bullshit bullshit well a diamond which is nice so, battle orders it is, and that gives us a little bit more life. Uh, and then, of course, also concentrate level 10. And yes, throw one into battle orders. Five skills remaining. Another Gladius with two sockets. We already got one, so can throw that one away. Oh, you fat bastard. What are you going to drop today? It is uh, nothing. Oh! 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 Oh shit! Oh Huna! Huna! Huna, holy shit! Huna! Huna, look! Huna. Whoa! What is that? Whoa! Huna! 
This is what you are looking for without knowing it. Holy shit! There we got our armor on. Oh, whoa! Well, that has been a success. I would, I would say that. <laughs> Unexpected to get the best rune for us already right now. Uh, yeah, that means we need to um, make up another row here. Starting there. So 21, 23 for the full. And then we have the arm rune sitting right there. So what I'm going to do here is to bring up my little rune poster once again. Uh, link down below if you want to download that. Uh, and take another look at... That rune word that we just found, strength, arm, tear, and that is for two socketed melee weapons. So just 35% enhanced damage, but 25% crushing blow, so it's a boss killer weapon. Plus 20, uh, 20 not percent, uh, strength, and 10 vitality, and some life stolen. Um, yeah, that is pretty neat. Uh, the It basically boils down to... The crushing blow so it's kind of a boss killer weapon this but you know what also requires an arm rune well that's edge arm tal tear or rather the other way around uh tear tal arm and that is what we wanted to have for our mercenary and yes to those who uh, say oh but killer of spirit also needs one yeah i know we're not going to use spirit that's a fucking broken rune work so, uh, no, destroys the whole game. No interest in that. Um, what? Oh. But you know what? King's Grace also needs an arm room. And that's a more all-round damage-dealing sword. Huh. 100% enhanced damage. 100% extra damage to demons on top of that. Fire damage, cold damage. And lots of attack rating. And lifesteal. That sounds like a very solid... Solid sword for um, any kind of nightmare endeavors. But uh, I think getting the boss killer for Bale first and some of his minions, maybe? Hmm, thinking about that. Let's save it for now because the strength rune wood won't do much for us at the moment. But as we move forwards in Act 5, it might. So, okay. Good stuff, good stuff. And Shaky Boy goes another time. Uh, nothing there to report on. Oh, uh, Superior Hunter's Bow. Uh, that might have three sockets, of course. Let's see. No, one. And Pisanti has leveled up once again. Following along nicely. I think she's um, holding pace very well. And there we go, Shanky Boy is down. Amulet scale mail. Nah, a little bit of money. Shanky Boy, give me something good. Without killing me, please. Uh, no, that's not what I call good. Oh, look at that, though. Nightmare X. It's a crude one. Another Shank is down. And he drops nothing. And Mr. Shank, uh, no. Another one without results. Superior Great Helm. No sockets, though. Now oh, we're very, very close to a level up, though. Um, so that is going to happen probably on the first enemy. Let's see. No, second one. Yes. Okay, so where do we want to put this? Uh, simple task. Battle orders. As well as uh, uh, concentrate, and it's not that far off that we can put our first points into natural resistance. Twelve percent resist all on the first level. Not too shabby. Ah, uh, we got a cedar bow, so uh, these can drop. That's good to know. Um, fast attack speed base. So if we get one with full three sockets, then that will be a decent base for a um, uh, for an edge. Although I think I'm going to wait for the for a drop of the three socketed hunter's bow equivalent of uh, nightmare. Found a uh, circlet with two sockets. Oh, but Santi already got her next level up there. That is impressive how quick that is going. So now she's at 28. 
just like myself. I'm just going to keep the circlet around if we somehow instantaneously found an altar, uh, not an altar, a soul rune, because uh, lore would be a nice addition. But uh, yeah, so um, we have plenty of space to. Also, I think we could speed up the grind a little by just giving her, now that she has the levels, give her this one. Lots of extra fire damage and enhanced damage. That doesn't do that much because we have so low uh, base uh, damage on the bow. So that does, doesn't do shit. But uh, that, that does that do shit, use. as you can see. I'll A lot of shit. A good I'll shit. Good use. Uh, yeah, Basanti is now killing it even more than, than before. I mean, I'm not doing much at the moment. <laughs> She's taking care of business. Yes, this has made it quite a bit faster to run this. Um, more comfortable. And there we go. Ah, don't die. Has been quite a while since my last decent find of anything. So, uh, it's about time. No. No, Killer Rob, says Runa. This is not how probability works. Yes, okay. That, that is true, Runa. Oh, there we go. Razor bow is, of course, the equivalent of a hunter's bow. But, uh, yeah, that's a crude one. You don't like that. Hmm, yeah. Haunt him on the ground. Shanky boy doesn't drop anything neat uh, as per usual. But let's see what this one is. Might be decent. Two sockets, but nothing else. I think I'm going to set it to players three right now. I think that's about -ish a sweet spot for where we're at in terms of damage. Just speeding up the process a little bit. Overall, that will mean less loot because there will be fewer runs needed to get to there. But uh, also, we're not really looking for all that much loot after all. It's just for Bissanti. Yeah, that's some nice jumps in uh, experience once one of them is killed. Oof, two of them there. And this one will give us a level up. 15 stats to distribute, which we are not going to do. Uh, but once again, standard affair for the last time. Setting battle orders. How many seconds do we have here now? Currently 60. The next level up will be basically spending everything. Um, let's see. So this would be one battle command, one battle orders, uh, one natural resist, and one concentrate. Yeah. All go. I think with how much damage these guys are dealing, uh, it might be worth switching over to her new bow, the Thorns Aura. Well, switching over to the bow, first we have to make one. Uh, well, okay, there we have one. <laughs> that could be a candidate. Uh, it's just fast attack speed, so not optimal. Um, oh wow, okay. It seems like, contrary to how it worked before, you actually have to set the player numbers uh, every time. Do you? Like, with every, every game? That is a little odd. That wasn't the case before. It would remember the player setting. That is big experience, though, that we get for each one of them. So let's see if they are still on players 8 now. I doubt they are. Maybe that's a menu setting nowadays? If it should remember it or not? Maybe they've changed that. That would be neat, of course. Yep, it's players 1 again. All right, let's see how much one player's eight Eldritch is doing. 56% right now, roughly. Runa alone just doesn't get through those. <laughs> so, so slow. So slow. Okay, so we got to 82%, roughly. 56 to 82%. I would say that's solid. But now, let's consider this. Let's let's first find words and then consider something. How about with the rune word edge being so cheap, for a 
Nightmare Countess Runner. Let's let's put it in those terms. Which Runa will be quite soon. Um, I think it is worth just making a long battle bow, as we have it right now. Or maybe look for... Oh no, this one has... How much... That, yeah, that's the thing. If we go for a hunter's bow with three sockets, it's a little faster. But on the other hand, it doesn't have any physical damage to speak of. Uh, what was it? Three to uh, seven or something? Um, and this one does. It is slightly slower. But the rune word, edge, does have a lot of plus to damage. And that's physical damage. It's not to everyone, but to demons, which are all bosses. And then also towards undead, which is Pindle, which we uh, might want to run as well. Um, and it has the aura, which will speed things up quite a bit. Because as soon as an enemy hits us, in normal, with a level 15... Was it 15? Yeah, I think so. Uh, level 15 Fawn's aura. I think that's going to go pretty well. So... I think it is time to craft something. And that something is Edge. That's the first time I've ever made it, by the way. Um, believe it or not. Because I never play... Uh, I never played online. Because that kind of sucked. Uh, I did, really didn't like that. Um, so, yes, I did try. <laughs> uh, Tear Tal Arm. And that was a letter-only rune word. So, um, Tear Tal Arm. We got that here. Tear Tal... Finally getting rid of that, and arm, oh, <laughs> unfortunately getting rid of that. So that's the order, tier, tal, and arm. There you go. Okay, what kind of rolls did we get here? A really shit one to demons, damage to demons. The lowest is 320, the maximum is 380, so we really rolled low on that. But everything else is just constant. And 35% increased attack speed will make this thing pretty fast. So, Bazanti, uh, we, we got something for you. Welcome. Your new edge. I'll put that to Whoa. good use. Oh, I'll wow. That to good use. What? Where does the damage come from? Where does that damage come from? Oh, it's the poison, of course. Yeah. Uh, I don't count the poison damage. Because she's going to kill things faster than what the poison can deal so, uh, yeah, this is exaggerating the damage. Subtract about, let's say, 50 from it, and you have about what it's going to do. I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. So our Sapphire Ral Ral bow will have to go. That is uh, unfortunate, but, whoa, you get quite a lot for it. Um, such a good companion, this one was. She has done lots of damage with this one. Oh, yes. Look at that. We do have an aura, and I respawned into the same game. Damn it. So, first things first. Let's go players one and see uh, how everyone is dying hitting me. That will be a very nice little test. So, here we go. Oh, beautiful color combination. Runa, you can be an artist now. And hit me, please. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it certainly helps. It's about as much damage as I deal myself when I hit them. And by the way, this is um, more useful in Nightmare because damage goes up more than HP does in Nightmare, especially. In, in the early uh, acts of Nightmare, the enemies are still reasonably squishy, but they deal a lot more damage than normal, obviously. So, this is going to help there. Right, another player's 8 Eldritch, and that should give us level 30. I don't think I've actually hit this guy yet. Oh, he's healing fast, though. Oh, damn it. Um, yeah. So, uh, they are keeping themselves down quite nicely. And there's our level up, just as I drink a super healing potion. So, what is my verdict on the... Uh, on the edge bow. Well, I would certainly say it's a little underwhelming in terms of performance. Um, but not not much. I mean, what do you expect? We are not fighting demons here. So, yeah. Um, Fawn's aura works, but normal. 
the the ratio here between life and damage is just a little off for this to work properly. But um, then it also is probably not really that powerful as I thought. So yeah, certainly not an overpowered rune word. That's a good one to use. But now it's time for skills. Uh, no, not Berserk. Thank you very much. Um, how about Battle Command? That one, yes. Um, battle Orders we go for, yes. And like we said before, um, there we have our natural resistances. How much do we have now? 42 and everything. And let's have a quick look. What do we want to go for next? This one never uses... Is any use to up. This is a one skiller, of course. Um, so we're not going to put anything in that. But we are next time going to want to put into battle orders as well as natural resistances. And so I think what we're going to do here is wait with more concentrate until we have those at levels that we um, want. Which means probably level 5-ish for natural resistances. And for battle orders, level 20. Ah, yes, nice. Mercenaries now also have the advanced stats tab. That is quite the thing. Look at how many bonuses she has. Continuing players' 8 uh, Eldritch runs for XP. Uh, level 31 should be pretty quick. I mean, you can't really call it a run when it takes this long, can you? But, yeah. Uh, it, it, it works. It is uh, nice z nice and zen. You just stand there and and uh, hit away. And this is not a good configuration. Asante, get out of there. And this... Uh, this was just two extra runs, by the way. Um, yeah. And we are just about to... And I didn't do Shank. So I'm just going here to get that level up. Level 31. Come on. Here we go. There we have it. It was just one more enemy. Oh! Edge bow. That's the uh, short bow equivalent though. So, yeah. Not useful. So now, more skills. Uh, no, not that one. That one and... This one. Yes, already 21%. And of course, I'm now prioritizing getting the natural resist up to level 5. And then I continue with battle orders. It is about 30% of experience per run of Eldritch. So just three more runs to go and we should be good. Huh. Oh, that's... That's a little weird. I thought helmets could only drop with two sockets in normal. Huh. Maybe that's because these are barbar barbarian special helmets or something? Hmm. That's uh, a little odd. Oh. Uh, that's a nice war spear without sockets. Whew. Nice. Triple resistances and life. Yeah, not too bad. Well, uh, ah, too bad it's not a frost nova when struck, but uh, that's a good one. Still, going on the garbage. Easy leveling right there. Yeah, still very quick. Uh, that is because I believe he is something around level 32 or so. So you do get a lot of experience if you are right around his level. And um, a quick reminder of why we are doing this. So not only are we gathering bases and upgrading items and such, and looking for runes, which we already have found, as you can see. Um, but also, leveling up means that you actually hit shit. Because level is one of the major components in determining if you can hit anything or not. Attack rating is the other big component in it. And of course these juicy juicy skills sure do help us to survive. But you know what? I have, uh, looking at the, <laughs> at the video recording, I've recorded for 2 hours and 14 minutes now. So I think it should be about enough content of this running stuff. Um, to end the episode. Might be a little shorter than usual. Who knows? Who knows? But my blabbering here will certainly extend it. So, um, it's time to switch off now. Alright. I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time. <laughs>